welcome to this new Palestinian Arabic course with me, Maha. Today I'm going to teach you the pronouns in Palestinian Arabic to show you some differences between the modern standard Arabic ones and the Palestinian. The similarities actually, not the differences, because they're super super similar, but they're just simplified. Let's begin with the fact that in standard Arabic we have 12 pronouns, because we have also uh, dual, uh, they too, and you too. In Palestinian Arabic we don't have that, so this is the first good news. Let's begin with Anna. Anna means I am, and it's exactly like the MSA, Modern Standard Arabic. Anna. Anna means I or I am. Why I am also? Because the verb to be in the present tense, it doesn't exist in Arabic. I don't know if you know this, but there's no verb to be. I is exactly like I am in Arabic. It's just the pronoun itself, Anna. This is the second good news, you see? <laughs> it's full of good news today. Um, so, Anna, it means I, and it doesn't uh, uh, differ according to gender. If you're a female, a male, whatever, you are Anna. Hmm? Anna, you male, in Palestine Arabic, we usually say inti, okay? But be careful because in Palestine Arabic, we also uh, use inti for you female. So, you male and you female are both inti. Hmm? This might sound not like a surprise for you because you would say okay you is you in English also and in many other languages no because in, in the standard Arabic we had a distinction between you male and ta that's standard Arabic and you female anti anta anti in Palestinian Arabic this difference anta anti doesn't um, happen um, it's always inti to indicate you male or you female um, unless you're speaking Fallahi Palestini, which is something that, so I don't want to confuse you too much, but um, if you come from a different city, I told you, and even in, in the Shami dialect it, itself, there are some sl slight differences. Sometimes you can say Inta for you male, okay? Inta for you male, Inti for you female, or both Inti, okay? The way that I speak, if I'm talking to you, Marco, I would say Inti. And if I'm talking to you, Maria, I would say Inti. Mm? If I came from Bethlehem, I'm talking to you, Marco, I would say Inta. And I'm talking to you, Maria, I would say Inti. So I will have the distinction. So I don't want to confuse you too much. I is Anna. You male, Inti or Inta. You female, Inti. Okay? To simplify your lives, you can just say you, female or male, Inti. Just learn Inti and that. Okay? <laughs> now, he. If I'm talking about a person, he, a male, we say we in all the Shami dialect. Hoi, hoi, try it with me because I want you to get used to them because I'm teaching you pronouns now this early in the course because I'm preparing you for what's going next and I want you to memorize them, of course. Hoi, it's he, she, it's he, he, hoi. Hiyi. Forget about the modern stand Arabic huwa and hiya. They are super super similar, so if you know them already, it's easier for you. But if you're starting now only with the Palestinian type without having learned anything in standard Arabic, it's also good. It's very good. You're just learning one pronoun for the first time. Mm? He, we say huwa, and she, we say hiyi. Okay? We, we say ihna. Ihna. Try to say it with me. Ihna. Okay, إحنا. The pronoun you all, plural, you plural, for females and males, we usually say into, into. In the sub-dialect of the Fallahi Palestini, we, some people might say intin for you females. Like a group of females, we would distinguish between them and a group of males, and we would say intin instead of into. But the mostly common used one and the one used by the urban uh, Palestinian dialect is into. So if I'm talking uh, with a group of people, ma males or females, into. Then we have they. They female, they males we would say hinni and they females we would say hinni. Again, that's the urban Palestinian dialect that I speak and I would love to teach you well, because it's the mostly spread one also. In the among the Shami dialect, so it, uh, hinni works for both they males or they females. In the Falahi Palestini, some people might say hummi for they plural males and hinni for they plural females. We in the urban Palestinian dialect, we would say hinni 
for both males and females. And then we don't have duals. And that's it. These are our pronouns in the Palestinian dialect. Let's repeat them together again. I, we say Anna. You, male. And you, female, we say Inti. He, we say Huwi. She, we say Hiyi. We, we say Ehna. Ehna. You, males or females, plural, Into. They, males, pl they, <laughs> plural, males and females, Henni. And that's it. These are our pronouns in the Palestinian dialect. Super, super easy. While in the MSA, they were 12 because you have distinction between males and females, singular, in the plural, and in the dual, we have also dual. We don't have a dual in Palestinian Arabic. Lucky for you and for us, these are our pronouns. One last time, I'm going to repeat them for you. I, Anna, you male and you female, Inti, he, Huwe, she, he, we, Ehna, you all males or females into they all males or females henni all right i hope you liked uh, this quick lesson i hope it was quick about the pronouns don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more video lessons about shami arabi not only shami arabi i have also a lot of videos on msa grammar and conversation subscribe to my channel learn arabic with maha Visit my um, also uh, page on Facebook and like it. Make sure to like it because it's there where I update you with, you know, daily uh, on my news and my upcoming courses. Learn Arabic with Maha One Word. Don't forget also to uh, follow me on Instagram, Maha Yakub. And that's it. I'm uh, my time is up, <laughs> and I have to uh, leave you now. And I will see you in a following Arabic lesson with me, Maha. Ma salama, bye. Let's try to do some exercise with these pronouns. Let's try to imagine we are in a situation where I'm talking to people or about people. Let's use the pronouns into a small conversation. It's not going to be big because we're still at the beginning of the language learning process. So uh, let's say, Anna, Anna is me, Maha. Inti shu ismak. Anna is me, Maha. Inti shu ismak. Or Inti shu ismik. Anna is me, Maha. I, my name is Maha. Inti, you. Shu ismak. What is your name? Shu ismik. What is your name? Talking to you, female. But I still use inti as pronoun because it means you. So Anna is me, Maha. Inti shu ismak. Huwe ismo Muhammad. Huwe ismo Muhammad. He, his name is Muhammad. He is Fatmi. Who is Muhammad? He is Fatmi. He and who we? I changed the pronoun. Who we? He, he, she. Into. Who is Imko? Who is Imko? Into. Into. Who am I talking to? Who is Imko? What is your name? Into. You. All of you. So I'm talking to a group of people, either two or more. Into. Who is Imko? They would answer me. Ehna. Ismna, Ehna, us. Ismna, our name. You might notice that we are repeating the pronouns. I'm just repeating them for matters of um, uh, the exercise. We don't usually say Ehna, Ismna, us, our name, because it's enough to say our name is and we understand who are the, pe the people who are talking. Now I'm just repeating the pronouns for you to understand. <laughs> okay, sometimes you also emphasize by adding also the pronouns it's not a problem and it's not grammatically uh, a mistake to say I my name is in Arabic we can simply say ismi maha my name is maha or ana ismi maha I my name is maha no problem no grammatical error so you can use them or you can just skip them I'm using them for you to give you an idea on how we use the pronouns hinni shu ismin shu ismin I'm talking about a bunch of people hinni shu ismin what is their name, Ismin? Hinni. Hinni, they. Am I talking about they females or they males? We know now that Hinni works for both, males or females, just like they in English or loro in Italian. Okay? <laughs> they. So, again, and the last time, Anna, I, Inti, you, Huwi, he, he, she, Ihna, we. Into you, 